I'm Lucy. Oh my gosh, I haven't filmed in so long. <laughs> Today I'm just going to film and do my makeup on camera as I've got some new makeup to show you guys. So I'm starting off with using two primers that I mixed together, both by Revolution. One is the Star Primer and one is the Mattifying Primer. This one actually is blue. The only thing about it is that it smells like licorice. If you guys like the smell of that. I don't really like the smell of it. That's why I mix it in with this one. Yeah, I never used to wear primer. I used to just moisturise and then put makeup on. But it really does make a difference once you prime. Yeah, so I hope you guys have been well. I haven't filmed in so long. A lot has happened i guess you could say i actually moved out i know my last chit chat oh get ready with me i was talking about i wanted to move out well i actually did i feel like now i've been gone for really long so i'm gonna take the huda beauty foundation in the shade cinnamon two pumps of that because the huda beauty foundation it's so like it is full coverage but it goes like a little bit goes a long way i'm just going to take a beauty blender and i normally blend that in uh, so i did actually end up moving out um in the end i moved to bournemouth loving it here i do night shifts however so i haven't actually had a chance to kind of explore it like, i've looked around bournemouth but i haven't really had like a full chance to explore it properly i normally get a day off on sunday however but sunday i'm recovering from like the whole week because i do such long late shifts by sunday i'm like out i don't even want to go out to be honest and i've got to recover for monday i'm a bit nocturnal sleep in the day and then wake up and work at night but i do love it i love my job and i love what i do at the moment and it's a new place it's a new environment like i say i've met the girls but that's only girls from work so i don't really know anybody i was thinking about starting a club up there so i don't know if you guys knew but i used to do pole dancing i was back in cornwall where i used to live i used to do pole dancing lessons i did about two one or two maybe i can't even remember i think i did one and i really enjoyed it the only thing i quit was just because it was like a lot of money and i wanted to move out i was thinking i might actually join and do pole dancing in bournemouth that'll get me one out the house because i work night shifts so i'm struggling to kind of get out and experience oh my gosh look at my nails they're so dirty this is why i never get white nails <laughs> um i'm struggling to experience bournemouth to its full and i'm i'm not really no i don't know anybody so i feel like i have to go out and make friends at this point i've done a pole dancing lesson i know i enjoy it so i'm using the super size concealer conceal and define by revolution this is c12 this shade something that i'm thinking i might do is 10 pound a lesson i don't know if i'm going to join now or maybe after christmas i really just want to join i've been thinking about it since i've moved here especially when especially because like i say i'm doing night shifts so i'm not really meeting any people apart from the people i work with but i know you can't you don't really get to meet people like that i want to actually make friends go out and put the effort in and start a club meet new people and i don't know i don't know you see this is it's really weird when you move out um well what i found is i've become a lot more determined and motivated to go out and make friends and do so much stuff but the way i look at it is I can sit back wait for people to come to me which isn't going to happen and deal with the friends that i've got at work which they're not really my friends or i can join a club which i know i'm interested in because i've done a few lessons well a lesson when i was back in cornwall i enjoyed it and do something i like and meet people at the club and yeah and get friends that way so it's like a win-win situation really so now i'm taking the revolution translucent baking powder one well, normally i use the banana powder this one's a little bit different i don't really know if i like about this makeup the powder in particular is it makes me look really ashy like i'm dry i can't find a powder that actually makes me look kind of 
hydrated still, but still matte. I don't know if that even is possible. Yeah. I don't really ever bake because I just I don't like that heavy feeling under my eye. Like I still like movement on my skin. Hey, I'm not really doing anything. I've got work later on. I'm really enjoying it though. It's step. If you want to say that, my next step, um, I really want to join a club. I really just kind of want to go out there and meet different people now. I mean, working, yeah, that's fun. I'm working in a very, in an environment where I'm always seeing drunk people. <laughs> like, yeah. So, I'm not, you can't really, like, make friends with them. <laughs> but I really want to actually get to know people now. And at the moment, I'm just living in a hostel. So, obviously, in a hostel, I know some people, like, I know people upstairs, and I know, like, the person next door to me or whatever, but, like I say, I wake up really late and then go to work, kind of, really, I go to work late, um, come back early, sleep in the day, it's like a constant routine, so getting out of that routine is, it's so difficult, you miss everyone, kind of, like, you, you miss all the interaction and, like, there was a guy upstairs, um, he was he was saying to me when I saw him, he was like having a fag, and he was like, oh, like, you know, we should all go for drinks and all this, and I was like, I'd love to, but I'm working, and yeah, I'm going to miss all of that. And as well, because I'm in such like a party environment that I don't really ever want to kind of go out for drinks. This is the one thing, it's that, like when you work in that environment and you're always seeing drunk people you're always you know serving alcohol or whatever you you get to that stage where you're just like i don't want to drink like i want to go home sleep relax come back do the next do the next day like <laughs> what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take this brow pomade which is literally it's a it's kind of like a shit one from um what's it called sainsbury's and I'm taking this miniature, oh yeah, I got new tools, that's something, there you guys didn't know that. I prefer using like this instead of um, a eyebrow slanted brush, I feel like I have more control. It's so weird how like eyebrow pomades make such a difference. I always used to use mascara. Like when I look back at my old videos and I just had like black eyebrows and now I've got like a proper eyebrow pomade. I'm like shit, it makes a difference. Like brown eyebrows are nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to take this brush, which is a Real Techniques um, shading brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer. And I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows because one's very than the other. Cool. Eyebrows done. So because I've got fake lashes on, I've got Russian... I think they're called Russian lashes, yeah. Um, I don't really do mascara on the top, but I'll do mascara on the bottom one. Um, this one I'm going to use is the Revolution Cannabis Mascara. I don't really tend to put, like, a lot of mascara. Um, yeah, I don't really tend to kind of put, like, a lot of mascara on the bottom. Um, and my lashes are quite long anyways. So now what I'm going to take is, what should I do next? So I'll do the highlighter. Is this Four Shades Highlighting Palette. This is literally a cheap one from uh, Asda. That pinkish highlight, I'm going to use that. I like this one because it's kind of subtle. Like, it's not too in your face. But the other gold, like the golds and the white, that's very in your face. Oh, bomb bomb. So I'm literally just going to do something so simple with it, like, I don't know. I've been wearing wigs lately because not my alopecia is coming back, but the psoriasis on my hair is coming back. I can know, I can tell by that. 
Like if I turn around, look at this. About fit on my neck. I don't even know if it's still there anymore, but yeah, it's gone down like a little bit. Well, anyways, normally it's like really, really bad. Look at that. <laughs> so um, I'm not really gonna do much with my hair. I'm probably just gonna put it in like a high bun. So I'm just gonna take a denim brush and brush through this. That's another thing as well, is that I wanna get a tattoo. I don't know what tattoo to get. Right, this. I've got loads of burns all over my arms, um, just from gen just from like cooking, me being stupid basically. Like it's not that it paranoids me, but it's actually they don't paranoid me. But this one gets on my nerves. This one, it's so dark. <laughs> that one it really frustrates me, especially when I'm doing YouTube videos, as like kind of close up and I'm raising my arms quite a lot. That really annoys me so i want to get a tattoo to cover that and i don't know what to get i was thinking about it earlier and i was thinking i might get like a snake like a wraparound snake but that's gonna look quite boyish and that's a lot for my first tattoo that doesn't really like compliment me um i don't know what else to get though i just know i want to get this covered and something like a wraparound I've spoken to like a few people about it and people keep suggesting I should get like a form of roses um, but I don't know about that. I've got to really like look into it because that's going to be my first proper tattoo. That's going to take up like that much of my body. I kind of like myself without any tattoos because a lot of people my age have tattoos like a lot of people um are covered in tattoos especially girls a lot of girls these days have quite a few tattoos before they even get to like 20 25 that would be quite a big deal for me to get something that big on my arm i don't know so i'm just taking the got to be glued um spray i normally get the ponytail to wear on it and then get my button wrap it around twice so i know how high up i want it and then i'll start making it look more normal that's not really plans i'm not really like a gym person um as such so i don't think i'm gonna do i don't think i'll join like a gym but i really really want to join like a club and doing pole that's a way where i can meet different girls and Maybe even guys, I don't know. So I'm going to take two hair bands and just tie my hair up into a ponytail. And spray it one last time. So that's the end of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. So I'm back now. I won't say I'm going to start posting more because I still don't know my schedules and I work quite a lot. So it's difficult for me to post a lot now um especially because i'm doing nights my body's still getting used to doing nights <laughs> i'm even struggling to eat like it's so weird i sleep through my hunger and then when i wake up i force myself to eat because i'm just not hungry like yeah because i wake up so late and i'm like oh, i need to i need to eat or else I'm gonna get hungry at like 3am <laughs> yeah but i will try post a lot more on this channel i hope you guys have a nice day thank you for watching see you guys soon